So John thinks that this would be my kind of getup because I would want to put goats in the back of a Corvette. Right? Yes. Did you get the trailer? Let's get a Christmas tree. Okay. So we are on our way to church. Um, last time we went to one further away from Tulsa and it was so neat. The kids loved it. I loved it. It was a really good sermon, but it's 40 minutes away. And so, ouch. Big pothole. Um, so because uh, it was a really long drive, we haven't had the oil change since we got here, and the car we think is making a strange noise, but we're not really sure. Um, we're trying to stay closer to home to go to church, and I think it's kind of Baptisty, Calvary Chapel-ish. Baptist? I don't think it's Baptist. Is it Baptist? Yeah. Christian Revivalist. Christian Revivalist. Okay. So there might be rattlesnakes. Um, anyway, so everybody's ready to go in. We had a really nice breakfast. It was a paleo um, cereal. chia seed, flax seed cereal that was really good. It tasted like uh, cream of wheat. Right? That was about the closest Coconuts. we could get to it, right? Coconuts. Cream of wheat? Yeah. John loves my experimentation with cooking. You can see it in his face and the way he's picking his teeth from chia seeds. Very good sport. So the weather is absolutely beautiful. Let's show you some of what we're looking at. Beautiful weather. I'm super excited. I'm trying to find a source for cardboard because I am looking at our compost pile and the kudzu, kudzu, kud, kudzu vine that they that I now find. Somebody told me. Who was it that told me that you can feed it to rabbits? Okay. I don't know what you can see because I can't see anything. What can I see? Okay, so they have a police officer stationed at the front of the kids area at church, which I wish that didn't make me feel so much better, but it makes me feel so much better. Um, you just don't know how many other people carry, and if there's nobody in there that does, then the fact that, that you know, you're separate from your kids, and kids seem to be such a target lately, I just feel a lot better about it. I'm not sure how I feel about us being in a separate building than them. So you know it was really good church when you had to wear earplugs made out of uh, paper towels. It was a great church. Very loud. Paige, sing that again. Huh? Sing it again for me. How much are the quail eggs? Uh, three dollars. Three dollars. And how much is the kimchi? Uh, Eight dollars. That looks delicious though. They've got miso. How do they do that? Keep all what? the fish. How do they keep all the fish alive? Yeah. With water. Don't make embarrassing sounds in the grocery store. 
I think we need that for the kimchi. I know I'm the only one that eats it, but I'm not sure anything smaller. Kimchi, I take it for the popcorn, and then you can take it again for showers. Baths in the popcorn. No. <laughs> no. Kaya, no stop. I know Dad did it, but it's not acceptable when we need it. Right. It's not acceptable when Dad does it either. So the Asian market is awesome. Isn't it cool? Um, I don't know what the price difference is. The, the dishes seem to be cheaper unless you're at the dollar store, but we found a lot of grain-free noodles. So we found tapioca arrowroot and, um, what was the last one? Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Last one. Okay, go put it up. No, just go, we're not getting, yeah, that was just an go put it up. We're not getting in the bathtub, sorry. Um, so super fun and yay more kimchi. Yeah, right. I've got to, I've got to transition everybody else onto the kimchi. Realistic. Is it curry comb? It's a curry comb. Uh -huh. Do you think that maybe they call it a curry comb because it's actually about curry, not horses? Mm, no. They also sell cocaine here, apparently. They've been wanting to go for a bike ride for so long with mom. Now they go for a bike ride with mom and they're like, Mom, there's too many hills, it's too hard and it's scary. Is there any other part of town? Yeah. There's no other part of town. If you're in town, you've got on ramps and off ramps everywhere. Everywhere. And there's no crosswalk thingies. Um, anyway, so we're going to stop at the park, let the girls catch a breath, and then we'll go back home and I will get dinner ready. Okay, so that was, I wouldn't say terrifying, but unnerving. We just biked through, I don't know if this is downtown Tulsa. But we had to cross the freeway on-ramp and there's no lights. Most of the lights don't have lights. And I got two little kids. It would not scare me at all if I was by myself. Um, but here we are at the YMCA. We're going to go check out and see how much it costs for a family pass because the girls have always wanted to be able to go swim whenever they wanted to. And um, we've never lived close enough for, to a pool for them to be able to do that since they were babies. And so this one is only like a, a mile and 1.2 miles away from the house. So if mom can handle the scary getting kids across streets thing, I think we can get them swimming. <laughs> 